Hey guys, it's Agent Over BHA here bringing you a new video. Uh, again, following with our Docker theme, this is a video on how to monitor your Docker containers in Home Assistant. Uh, you'll be able to keep up with the status of them, you'll be able to turn them off or restart them. Um, all kinds of cool stuff that you can do from within Home Assistant, which again will allow you to use them with scripts and automations, however you want. Super awesome. This is an application called HA Dockermon. Um, and of course, it runs as itself a Docker container. You'll be able to uh, use the REST API of HA Dockermon to create um, switches and sensors and all kinds of cool stuff. And we're going to show you how to do that here in this video. Super awesome. Uh, let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. So of course we're going to start by uh, installing HA Dockermon in Docker. Once we do that, we're going to add a switch into Has that will allow us to turn the container on and off. Uh, next, I'll show you what that switch looks like in action. After we do that, we're going to go ahead and add a sensor into uh, Home Assistant to show you how to monitor the status of uh, your containers. And then lastly, of course, we'll show you what that sensor looks like in action. So let's get started. All right, so here is the GitHub page for HA Dockermon. Um, again, check it out, see what you think. Uh, all kinds of information here talking about it and how to set it up. So just check it out, see what you think. All right, so of course we're going to start by installing HA Dockermon in Docker. Uh, now this is a fairly long command again I'll have it in the description below so you can just copy and paste it uh, but of course we're going to start by doing a uh, docker run dash d we'll give it a name I'm just going to call mine dockermon uh, we'll set the restart to always Now, for it to have access to uh, the Docker containers as it needs to, we need to do a dash V and do a slash var slash run slash docker dot sock colon slash var slash run slash docker dot sock. That gives it the access that it needs to be able to uh, manipulate those Docker containers. We're also going to store the uh, config file on the uh, host machine as well. So we'll do a dash V and I'm just going to store mine in a Dockermon folder in my home directory. So it'll be slash home slash Adrian slash Dockermon colon slash config. Uh, let's see dash P. Uh, so Dockermon uses port 8126 as its default, so we're just going to do a uh, 8126 colon 8126 here. And then lastly, we're just going to call out that Docker hub file, so this will be Phil Hawthorne slash HA dash Dockermon. And we'll give that a little bit to download. I'll kind of fast forward through this so we're not waiting around for it to finish. Alright, so once it's done downloading, we're going to move over to Portainer. And just take a look at that container, make sure everything looks okay. So we'll select HA Dockermon here. And as you can see, it has been up for about a minute. All the volumes, everything looks good there. So we can move on to the next step. Just to show you what the API kind of looks like for HA Dockermon. Uh, I'm going to go to 10.10.10.5 uh, colon 8126 slash container slash unify. Now this is all the information that it gives me for my Docker container that I have running my unify controller. So as you can see, it shows the current state, which is running. It shows the status of how long it has been online, and it shows what image it is using to uh, run the Docker container. So that is just some of the info that you can pull from HA Dockermon. Pretty cool setup there. Let's go ahead and move on to the next step. All 
All right, so let's add a switch into has that will allow us to turn that container on and off. So I'm going to edit my uh, switches.yaml file here. Find an open spot down at the bottom. But the platform will be uh, REST because we're going to use the REST API. Uh, name, I'm just going to call this one Unify. This will be a switch for the Unify controller that I have in Docker. Resource, this will be the path to the REST API for that particular Docker container. So it is, uh, let's see, HTTP colon slash slash 10.10.10.5. That is my uh, IP address of my Docker host. Uh, colon 8126, that's the port that we uh, set up there, slash container slash unify. Body underscore on, that's how you tell it to start the container. So uh, of course it's, um, the state will be set to start. Body underscore off. And of course, the uh, state will be set to stop. Is underscore on underscore template. This is basically uh, how we're going to. Uh, Display the status of the container. So it's value underscore JSON is not none and value underscore JSON dot state equals running. Once we have all that in there, we're going to go ahead and save it. And now we can move over to Portainer and restart Home Assistant. And of course, it'll take a few minutes for that to come back up. Once that's done, we're ready to move on to the next step. Here we are in Home Assistant, and as you can see under Switch, I now have a switch that is currently in the on state for Unify, and that is my Unify controller that I have running in a Docker container. Obviously, if I was to uh, turn that switch off, it would stop that container. So now you know how to set up a switch in Home Assistant to manage your Docker containers. Let's go ahead and move on to the next step and learn how to set up a sensor. All right, so here we are back at the command line. We are going to add a sensor that just monitors the current status of that uh, Docker container. So I'm gonna edit my sensors.yaml file and I'll just find an open spot down here at the bottom. Again, the platform is gonna be REST because we're still using our REST API from uh, HA Dockermon. Resource will be the path to our uh, uh, Docker container in HA Dockermon. So we're going to uh, HTTP colon slash slash 10.10.10.5 colon 8126 slash container slash unify. Uh, the name, I'm just going to give it a name of unify status. All right, now for the value template of this sensor. All I want to know is the uh, status. So I'm going to do a value underscore JSON dot status. Once we have that in there, we can go ahead and save it. And let's move over to Portainer one more time and restart Home Assistant. 
for the changes to take effect. Of course, we'll give that a minute to come back up and then we're ready to move on to the last step. All right, so here we are in Home Assistant one more time, and we're going to look at the uh, sensor that we just created. Uh, as you can see up in the top there, I uh, have one for Unify Status. Uh, and it currently says it's been up for 38 hours. So uh, as you can see, it is keeping track of the status of that Docker container and how long it has been online. That's the end of the video, guys. Uh, again, I hope you liked the video. Um, HA DockerMon, I think, is an awesome way to be able to monitor your Docker containers in Home Assistant. Lots of cool stuff you can do with automations and scripts and all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, again, check out the GitHub page for HA DockerMon, and you can kind of see some examples and various things that you can do with it. Let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. Of course, we started by installing HA DockerMon in Docker. Uh, once we did that, we went ahead and added a switch in Home Assistant to show you how to uh, manage your uh, Docker container in Home Assistant. Uh, once that was done, I kind of showed you what that looked like in Home Assistant. After that, we added a sensor into Home Assistant to, to be able to monitor the status of our Docker container. And then lastly, of course, I showed you what that sensor looked like in action. That's the end of the video, guys. If you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. And as always, if there are any videos out there that you'd like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I will see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.